All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm sitting on the shores of Kentucky Lake. We just got done with the Wiley X High School Fishing Camp. Had a blast. The first day, my buddy Matt Steffen behind the camera here, if you want to go check out his channel, Matt Steffen Fishing. Uh, but we, we did a spinnerbait making class. We had a lot of fun, and we made a lot of different spinnerbaits. Um, of course, I used the Z-Man sling blades, and uh, we... It was really cool being able to talk to the, the, the high school kids about blade combinations, colors in, in skirt combinations, and uh, using a trailer hook, and all that kind of stuff. Spinner baits are really, really unique in that there's a lot of different components to think about. And so I wanted to real quick, uh, you know, talk about uh, a summertime spinner bait fishing. It's a little bit different than some of the, the rest of the year, but the first thing I need to do, just as I did in that, that spinner bait making class, is kind of break down the two main styles of, of blades that you're gonna be dealing with. One is a Colorado blade. Now the Colorado blade is obviously a little bit rounder. It catches a lot of, of, of water and also has a wide arc of spin. So it spins at a, at a wide uh, orientation and creates a lot of vibration and lift. And then uh, will leaf on the other side of the spectrum has the most flash out of the two. It, it, it emits a lot of flash, catches a lot of light, uh, but it has a, a very narrow arc of spin. So it's, it really doesn't have a lot of lift. It allows you to move this bait a lot faster. Now, during the summertime, I'm usually not going with a double Colorado blade uh, spinner bait. Uh, I really reserve those to cold, dirty water situations. So earlier in the season, later in the season, um, usually uh, I like to do two different styles of spinner baits, two different blade combinations, either a double willow, and I'll kind of manipulate these by changing the sizes of the blades. So I'll do a double willow. You've got one small one and one bigger one. And then there's also one that is called a tandem blade, okay? And that's with the, the Colorado blade and the willow leaf blade. So that a combination kind of best of both worlds. The main thing that I'm paying attention to when it comes to spinner baits is water clarity. Out here on, on uh, uh, Kentucky Lake, I would say it has a moderate water clarity. It has a nice uh, green algae tint to it. Um, so it's a little bit dirtier. You, have, you can see like, you know, three or four feet down. So it's it's got a good combination of stain, but good clarity too. And that's a good situation to be throwing the, the tandem Colorado and willow leaf blade combination because you still get a, a good amount of vibration to pull fish from further away, but you also get the good flash of having the, the willow leaf blade and uh, you can still move it at a good pace. You're not really over moving this bait. You're not moving it too fast, um, but it, it's just the right amount of speed that you can get out of it while maintaining, you know, a high water column presentation. Um, I usually am using this uh, if I'm fishing up shallow with a spinner bait during the summertime. So if I'm uh, casting around a brush, uh, any type of cover, I'm trying to pull those fish away from the cover. I want the, the extra vibration of the, uh, of the Colorado to kind of pull them away from it a little bit, get interested. And then the, the, the willow leaf blade kind of creates the flash and gets those fish really excited. And, uh, and then on the other side of the spectrum, there's a lot of lakes that I fish, especially natural lakes that are very, very clear. That's when I want extra flash, not really interested in the vibration as much. I just want that flash. And uh, I also want to move this bait very, very fast. And that's where I like the double wheel leaf blade. So really, really clear water where you want to move this bait fast. And in one situation that you really want to move a bait fast is up north fishing for smallmouth. Smallmouth are known to crush a spinner bait. And usually it's like a flamboyant color like this, white and chartreuse. Uh, a lot of times I'll put a white and, and uh, chartreuse painted blades on here, but you really want to throw a, a will leaf combination because it allows you to move that bait really fast on a high speed gear ratio reel and, uh, and, and just keep it right on the surface without it, you know, the blades wanting to come out of the surface. Um, so smallmouth love a dull, double will leaf combination. As far, as far as colors go, uh, I just mentioned smallmouth. They, they love whites, chartreuses, you know, bright colors like that. But in general, uh, what I like to do is, you know, again, as far as the water clarity goes, if I'm dealing with dirtier water and, uh, and cloudier conditions, lower visibility conditions, I'm gonna be using something that's a little bit more bold, like white and chartreuse. Again, 
The Caveat is smallmouth. They're completely different. I use the white and chartreuse and clear water with them. But um, for largemouth, you know, low light conditions, low visibility, that's when I'm going for those opaque, bright colors. And then in clear water, I like to go with something like the natural shad color right here. Um, this is uh, this is a really good one for clear water or even just slightly stained water. Uh, I, I just really like that color a lot. It really imitates shad and like, uh, you know, newborn fry that are very, very um, common this time of year. And so natural shad is a really good one. One that I love, love, love to throw a lot during the summertime, especially on the TVA, is Spot Remover. This one has a little bit of chartreuse on it, so it, 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 it gets a lot of good strikes from like spotted bass and, and even some smallmouth on the TVA. Um, but it also is transparent enough and has that scale pattern in the, in the uh, skirt that it really looks natural in the water too. So it, it has appeal in dirtier water, but also uh, very clear water as well. And usually I'm using that one and it has like a gold blade uh, on there. Uh, and that's another thing, you know, as far as color of blades, uh, gold is usually best. It, it captures a lot more light and, and, and flashes a lot in dirtier water when silver really shines literally in clear water. Um, but other than that, the other tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you put on a trailer hook. This right here is the Hayabusa trailer hook. This is the best trailer hook system I've found. See these little uh, rubber beads that they give you to kind of lock that in. You can uh, sneak those up and, and make it a little more restrictive or you can really let it just kind of free float on there. But I, this is the best system I've found. They're not like super big trailer hooks, which I like. I want something that doesn't really impede the action or the, the overall appeal of it. Um, so they're, they're really good trailer hooks, really sharp. And I catch a lot of fish that are just barely nipping out of bait on those hooks. But other than that, that's kind of how I break down my, my, my summertime spinnerbait fishing. Uh, they're a really good bait, especially when you're, you, you see a lot of bait fish schools uh, roaming around that are, are newborn uh, fry uh, like we have on Kentucky Lake. We went out and there's a lot of fish in that, that small size class. And, uh, and so generally I'm going to be fishing a lot of the smaller size blades this time of year. Um, but yeah, I love fishing a spinnerbait all year round, but summertime, it can be really, really good. So thank you guys for watching. Um, of course, check out this, the link in the description. Uh, it's going to be a link to the sling blades on the 44 tackle.com website. If you order th with that link, you're going to get 10% off. And, uh, and so, uh, 44 tackle is going to hook it up. And so definitely go check out the sling blades over there at 44 tackle. Thank you guys for watching. Drop your comment below. I'm going to see you out on the water, maybe on Kentucky Lake.